Hello, I'm Lacey Thompson. I serve as the news chief here at NASA's Stennis Space Center near Bay St. Louis, Mississippi. I'm standing not too far from the Fred Hayes test stand. This is where NASA tests RS-25 engines to help power the SLS or Space Launch System rocket on Artemis missions back to the moon as we prepare for future journeys to Mars. I'm joined by one of our NASA test engineers and test conductors, Derek Zacker. Derek has agreed to answer some of the questions we've received during recent live stream broadcasts of RS-25 tests. Most people, as they watch the test, they notice the, the large white cloud exiting the test stand. And somebody wants to know, is that plume, is that cloud safe? Yes, that cloud is safe. Um, it is primarily water vapor. So with the RS-25 engine operating on liquid oxygen and liquid hydrogen, when you combine those two elements, you get water. So you get water in a vaporized state, and then you mix that with the 200,000 gallons of water that's coming down the deflector that is being um, vaporized by that hot plume. And that's why the cloud is so big. It is almost all water vapor, um, you know, and it's perfectly safe. Uh, as it cools, as it rises in the atmosphere and cools, it'll actually start raining and we get a localized rain event right here on the facility. And it's perfectly fine if, it get, if that water gets on you. In addition to propellants, operators flow as much as 170,000 gallons of high pressure water to the test stand during each minute of a typical hot fire. Most of the water flows from the NASA Stennis High Pressure Industrial Water Facility to protect the test stand flame deflector from damage by the super hot engine exhaust. The pressurized water sprays into the flame deflector through thousands of holes strategically designed to direct the water spray where needed. The high pressure water mixes with super hot exhaust to produce a massive steam cloud seen exiting the test stand during a hot fire that is often mistaken for smoke. This steam cloud billows into the atmosphere and, depending on conditions, can condense and fall as raindrops in a very limited area. The steam cloud phenomenon gives rise to periodic and erroneous speculation that NASA actually has a rain machine. <laughs> 